Hi, Floss Tube. Hello, Floss Tube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching, episode 188. 88. 11 plus 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 5 plus 6 plus 50 plus 25 plus 20 plus 2 plus 3 is 188. Because math. It's just getting too easy. No, it's not. The numbers I are growing. I know. But I'm just getting know. better at math. You're just, yeah, you're just, your math skills. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hello. Happy Sunday, yes. if you're watching us tonight. Happy uh, Valentine's Day. Yes, happy Clearly, Valentine's Day. Clearly, Valentine's Day. This is about as Valentine-y as it gets around here, folks. Mm -hmm. So, yep. you know. Yep. If uh, yours is more exciting, good for you. Congratulations. <laughs> um, Congratulations. Welcome back. Um, we know that um, this week we'll start the beginning of Mardi Gras. Uh -huh. So if you're down in Nolens, yes, have a great Mardi Gras. Be safe. Be safe. <laughs> Be responsible. All the things. All the things. Yes. And... Um, Happy long weekend if you happen to get tomorrow off mm -hmm. on President's Day in yes. the States. Yes. And all that stuff. All that jazz. Uh, welcome if you're new here. Yeah. Um, and so glad you decided uh, to hang out. Every once in a while we get comments on our older videos. And um, to say we've come a long way is... Putting a, it mildly. <laughs> is a bit of an understatement. Um, if you've watched us from day one, bless your soul. I know you've seen a lot, a lot seen of a lot, a lot of changes seen a in, lot. in um, appearance and style, mm. and I think hair color, hair color. <laughs> uh, I think confidence and comfortable comfort comfortability comfortability comfortability. You did it better than me. Yeah. Um, what else is new? Doing videos and 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 that's a word to the wise. If you're just discovering floss tube and you want to find maybe some newbies, um, don't, give them a chance. Yeah, don't immediately dismiss the newbies because give them a chance. There was a time when we were newbies and, and it was rough. <laughs> it was it a was, rough. Goal. It was a okay. little choppy, and so you uh, you learn by doing. And uh, so if you um, think wow you know they seem to uh really have it all together we don't. <laughs> we don't we don't we never have we don't and if when you're searching sometimes people get on youtube and they search for floss tube and the number one mm. to find some new floss tubers yeah. which is a great strategy mm -hmm. but um just um just give them some grace in getting comfortable because mm -hmm. uh, it it's is a lot harder than it looks. It's a lot harder than it looks. And we're not patting ourselves on the back by any stretch of the imagination. Anyways, um, any we are looking forward, yes. I think, or looking ahead. We're definitely not looking back. <laughs> no. We're mm -hmm. I was going to mention the snow with what oh, I was yes. mentioning. We're supposed to get three to five. Inches, not feet. Um, yeah, inches, not feet. Um, sometime in the tonight next or in hours. The, we might wake up to it in the morning. Um, obviously I don't go anywhere, so it doesn't affect me directly, yeah, no. but, um, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Uh, three to five in our perspective is not a whole lot. Right. Um, we don't go, you know, we don't go nuts. Over we three don't, to five. but the rest of North South West Ohio yeah. goes actually insane. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, we'll see. You, it's basically where you watch out for the other guy and you keep your distance behind yes. people who don't, don't know follow how, too close. Yeah, who don't know how to drive in it. Right. But like but I this said, is not a channel about driving. This is no, a channel about cross stitch. Yeah, and so, so let's um, let's see what a few things off the top here. First and foremost, I want to remind everyone. Um, and so, if you're new and if, then this is news to you, if you are a returning viewer. I'm sorry that I'm going to repeat this, but I'm going to repeat it, um, is that Keepsakes, you'll hear us mention Keepsakes. Keepsakes is our local needlework shop here in Cincinnati, Ohio, where we live. It also happens to be the place I work. Um, and so I work at Keepsakes, and so I am, like, for all intents and purposes, the the face of Keepsakes on social media. Um, and so I bring Keepsakes news to our audience as well. Um, if 
necessary. Um, and so uh, I just want to remind everyone about where that lies. Uh, and so with that, a reminder that Needlework Expo is coming up, which is going to be the first weekend of March. It is a wholesale show. Uh, and so uh, your favorite shop, including Keepsakes, will be attending. Um, and as the dates for that draw nearer, um, more and more amazing designers are releasing their um, newest releases. Yeah. Or showing you pictures of right. what they will be releasing at the Needlework Expo. Right. Um, and so it is a virtual trade show. And so how it will work is that all of the designers who are participating will have a room, a virtual room. Um, and then different shop owners can go and can visit each room and can buy charts and do all the things. So um, Keepsakes is taking pre-orders. So uh, if you are interested in having Keepsakes be the vessel for your market Re, uh, pre orders, we would be honored to do that for you. And so, um, and someone asked if I could explain it a little bit more about how that works. Um, and so, basically, it's super, super easy. Um, there's a few different ways you can get in touch with Keepsakes. So, let's say that you saw something that you know you need to have, okay? And you're like, but I don't know how to do that. So, uh, you can contact keepsakes you can call the shop you can send the shop an email the email is in the description box below of every one of our videos um, or you can send keepsakes a message on instagram that works too however you want to get in touch with us is fine um, and then uh, we just need to know the name of the chart and the designer um, and we will start a list for you and you can add and subtract from that list as much as you want to um, until the show begins. So I did have a couple people reach out this week and say, hey, I want to start a list. That's great. Um, and so we will start compiling those lists for you. Not a problem at all. Um, I am the person responsible for compiling all the lists um, and I will be placing pre-orders with designers if applicable. Um, and I will be sorting all of your pre-orders when they come in. So, um, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to ask. We are here for you and want to get you all of your Needlework Expo goodies. Right. That's okay. fantastic. Okay. That's fantastic. Um, so now we're going to do a hashtag. Okay. Okay. Just checking the notes, but didn't need to. Nope. Didn't need to. Hashtag. So the hashtag uh, is Stitch Harmony, and it is our meager attempt at uh, connecting stitchers together. So if you live some, if you just moved to a new city or town, or you just picked up stitching again, or, you know, for any multitude of reasons, and you want to find someone who lives in your area, we would love to help you find that person. Um, and so we ask that you comment on our videos using the hashtag Stitch Harmony, that way we can find it pretty quickly, um, and we will share a Stitch Harmony commenter every week. Um, and so because we mentioned last week that we didn't have any, we got a cornucopia of we Stitch Harmony people this week we we, so we, we, we only one. pick one and so um if you uh were not picked for the stitch harmony hashtag um uh, this week please try again and um thank you for everybody who has put your confidence in our outreach yeah. to find a stitching buddy but the one i picked and i will explain why i picked it in a minute well the one i picked can't comes from a gal who has tried this before with us and didn't really get any responses. So we're really gonna uh, push this out here and um, hope that uh, there's somebody in this area who can reach out. And her name is, and I hope I don't butcher this, it's, it's spelled Haiti, H-A-Y-D-E, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe it's pronounced Heidi, so I don't know. Sorry. But Heidi Kalavitti. Yep. Okay. That's what I said. <coughs> that's my, <coughs> pardon me. Choking on her letters. No, that's my attempt at your name, and I <clears throat> hope I got it right, or at least or close. somewhat close. And this is what she wrote. I feel like it's Heidi, but okay. Okay. Thanks, ladies, for another great video. My yeah. attempt at... Hashtag Stitch Harmony failed, so I'll try again. And I'm glad that you felt confident enough to try again. Yes. I live in a dead zone mm -hmm. for cross stitch. That is. They're there. I, I know. Find them. <laughs> that is Lehighton, Pennsylvania. 
The nearest LNS is over an hour away. It is my wish to visit new stores, but with a pandemic going on, I'm staying home. Thanks for all you do. Be well and stay, stay safe and stitch on. So, the reason I picked Lee Heighton is... Are you sure it's pronounced Lee Heighton? I'm pretty sure. It's not Leighton? Oh, for sure it's not Leighton. It's Lee Heighton. Yeah, okay. that, that much I know. And the okay. reason I know that is her aunt, my sister, used to live in Danielsville, Pennsylvania, which yes. is less than a half an hour away from Lehighton. Yes. And I believe, and those of you in that area of PA can correct me, as you Will. love to do, mm -hmm. um, that area is known as the Lehighton Valley. Now, I may be wrong, okay. but... I think I heard my sister refer to it. So, okay. So, um, Haiti, Heidi, mm -hmm. oh, <laughs> yes, that doesn't sound right. No, it does not. But or, okay, or so, nice. But there you go. <laughs> but it got you. Got you. Pay attention. Yes, it did. Um, and so this is how this works. So if your ears just perked up because you live in around nearby. Uh, Lehighton, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and you have room in your stitchy group for, uh, I'm going to call you Heidi. How about that? Uh, Heidi. Um, watch it be Heidi, but whatever. For this lovely, lovely girl, if you yes. have room for her, yes. then please. And Lehighton. Lehighton. And now I'm starting to think that it might have been. The Lehigh Valley? The Lehigh Valley. Yeah, that's so what I, I was might have say. That, so I might have that wrong. That's so what, disregard. Okay. Don't. Don't speak on things you don't know anything about. Because <laughs> they'll come out for you. They I know. Will, these people, I know. they'll come for you. I know, okay? I know, I know. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, so if you live in or around nearby within driving distance of Lehigh, in Pennsylvania, please comment below and say hello to this lovely, lovely girl and say that you have room in your city group. And then it's up to you, Miss. Katie Heidi, to <laughs> uh, read through the comments below and um, comment on them. And then you guys can start a conversation and connection. And um, yes, we are aware that there is a pandemic going on. So whatever your comfort level is, we totally understand. Right. That is up to you. Do you boo-boo. She's tried twice now, people. So let's, let's help, help her, her out. out. Okay. Right. Right. All right. Lee okay. Heighton, Sisters Unite. Lee Heighton. A little popping sound, didn't it? It did. <clears throat> and that means it's time for Pam Spin Comment. Pam Spin Comment is the comment that I pick because it tickles your fancy. Because I'm in charge of this comment. Yes, you are. <laughs> <laughs> um, and this is what we have for Pam Spin Comment. It's been pinned to the top of all the comments oh, I we got. This one. Yeah, I think I read it to you. Well, I also read it myself. So. Uh, okay, well, this is... Who, Dahlia. This is whose comment got pinned. Dahlia Bristow. Hi, Hello, Dahlia. Dahlia. I just like the name Dahlia. 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 I bet she's Dahlia. Yes, <laughs> darling Dahlia. <laughs> just, she, she wrote... Gosh, we're terrible with our commenters this week. We're not... We're um, just bad at pronunciation, really, is what it comes down to. <laughs> well, that's the... Correct pronunciation of I'm, Dahlia. I'm well aware. It's like the flower of the Dahlia. Yes. Anyway, just... <laughs> what did this sweet, sweet girl say? Dahlia said, just wanted to say hello. I'm a new cross-stitcher who found you very recently after searching for tips and techniques and patterns and all things cross-stitch that might help me learn. This is the place for that. I just love you too. You're just the perfect blend of, get this, smart, smart. Yeah, uh -huh. and cute uh -huh. and quirky. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's all the things I am. <laughs> and your relationship makes my heart warm. Oh. Anyway, keep it up. So, Dahlia, do. thank you for the lovely comment. Yes. And the compliments. And um, thank you to all the wonderful commenters we got after last week's video. Yes. Thank you all so right. much. Uh, let's okay. talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Okay. Okay. What have you been stitching this week, Steph? Well, let me show you. So, uh, this is a ongoing year-long project. Uh, two of my whips this week are projects that you will, lucky you, get to see all year long. Um, and the first one is, um, so 
is the round robin for, uh, with all of us in the Whistle Stop crew, Crockpot crew, uh, and there are nine of us stitching Our Lasting Friendship by Blackbird Designs. Um, and so this is now the third section, um, and because the first was with the owner, and then the second one is passed, and now we're on to the third one. And I have uh, Miss Katie's. Hi, Andy! <laughs> and... <laughs> It's getting um, feisty. Me? Yeah, that was kind of a groveling kind Hi, of, Andy. Oh, boy. Um, okay, so Katie, um, and I finished Katie's section. I think I showed you guys a little bit of it last week, and um, I finished it completely. So, uh, she's, is, and we l totally gave everyone free reign, because this was my brainchild idea, mm -hmm. um, and, but anyone, you could stitch it on any fabric they wanted, on any with any floss they wanted, whatever they wanted to do. So Katie's, she did her whole her own thread conversion, which you will see. Um, and then the fabric is 36 count vintage beeswax from R and R. So I didn't know 100 percent what the fabric was last week, and I apologize for that. But now I will tell you. So um, the second section um, is or was, um, this bird, this bold basket of berries, these two birds here, this flower, and yeah, these, this whole corner up here. And then of course my initials. So, which is in this box here. Right. So, okay. So there is my completed section. And the threads that she uh, used, or are, is using, is a combination of color and cotton floss and Victoria Motto sample shop threads. So that is my section up there, um, and it's stitched two over two on 36 count. And then of course there is my initials right there, SS, that's me. And then now, so Katie has stitched on it, Melissa has stitched on it, and I have stitched on it now. And so that is the completed sampler so far. Right. So it is ready to go to the next person. Right. And we do not know who that person's going to be yet because we don't, didn't, the due date for these is like the 19th or 20th yeah. or something right. like that. So right. we'll probably know. So we'll figure out and we'll go around and deliver ours. Yes. And so forth. And pick up ours and all that. Right. Probably at some point next weekend, I would think. Right. So. So that's super fun. Mm -hmm. And so that is ready to go. Mm -hmm. And then um, I had a couple of opportunities um, to uh, where I was in a waiting room this week. <laughs> um, and so I took my travel project with me. And a lot of people were like, oh my gosh, that's such a great idea to have a travel project. And I wish I could tell you where I What, what did you idea. say? You, you frequently are asked what it is. Yeah. Like what needle craft and people it is. All, like the, the first thing they think they guess at is what crochet crochet oh Isn't that's funny like they're oh is that crochet <laughs> i'm like no is that just the first <laughs> word that you thought of no, <laughs> no it's not not crochet it's pretty far from crochet no offense to all you crocheters out there, but right, it's not crochet. Right, but it's not even... I don't know the difference between crochet and knitting, okay? Yeah, that, so, we've made that clear. Yes. Um, and so this is my travel project. Um, and so this is a Good Company by Plum Street Samplers. And look at that little foxy woxy. Isn't he cute? I have not gotten to the fox part yet. Um, and this was a exclusive kit that I purchased from acorns and threads in Portland, Oregon. Um, and I do not know if they have any more left, but you are welcome to give them a call and see if they do. And so this came out all kitted up for me. So all I had to do was just start it, which was really nice. Um, and this is stitched on 36 count, uh, vintage country mocha linen. Um, and it is using all of the colorful colors, of course. And so this is how much I have now. Um, and this is stitched one over two on 36 count as opposed to two over two, like Katie's sampler was. So I got a lot of that uh, wall there and that quilt star that is right there. You can see down here. And 
So the roof is totally done. And um, yeah, I love it. I love it so much. So you're doing the side of the house. Basically. Yes, the side of the house. Yeah. So I mean, it's not big by any means, you know, small little pillow, but it's so cute and it's so fun. And one thread goes very quickly. So cool. Yes, I love it. And I am using, um, I'm using <clears throat> those hoops I got off of Amazon and they work like a dream, like a dream. Good. So, um, and I don't think, I mean, I do take it obviously out of the hoop every time I'm not using it, but, um, the hoop marks on it aren't too terrible. Mm -hmm. I don't think. No. Um, and it was funny because last weekend I took this up to craft gallery when we went up there with Vic and, um, I was stitching on it in the car, but then I just like fell asleep. And so I just threw it in the bag and put it away. And then when I got home, I wanted to finish the row that I was stitching and I stitched it in hand. And that's when I confirmed I'm still not an in hand stitcher. So, mm -hmm. um, I figured out the sewing method though. So at least I can say I know how. So if I'm in a real pinch, I can, if I'm, if I'm in a real pinch, I can still, I can still stitch. Yeah. But yeah. So, and I take that with me when, um, when I go places that I have to wait somewhere like this week, I have an appointment to get my haircut on Wednesday and they have a very strict policy where like now since COVID, so I have to, you have to wait in your car and you call them when you're there and then they'll call you back when they're ready for you. So you can sit in the car and stitch. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I would take it in and stitch, but anyway. Yeah. Um, and then, so I mentioned last week in plans that what my ideal plan was, was to finish my sampler for Katie. And then I would get started on one of my two year, big year long projects and the decider for how, to, which project to start in February 1st, um, it was just a wheel that I had on my phone. So my two big projects are year at Hawk Run Hollow in Santa's village, uh, year at Hawk Run Hollow by Carachal Samplings or, um, Santa's Village by Country Cars and Works. And so I spun the wheel and it landed on Year at Hawkrun Hollow. So I will focus on the February block until it is done. And then I will switch and do the second block, which is points at a place in Santa's Village. But for now, let's talk about Year at Hawkrun Hollow. So this is the February block. And um, when I started on it, it was Tuesday, maybe? Maybe. Tuesday. Mm -hmm. um, and all I had on it was the border. So, with that said, I think I got a lot accomplished um, for the busy week I had. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, that is how much I have. So, this is stitched on 40 count sampler gold by Color and Cotton. Um, using all of the called for needlepoint silks, one strand of silk over two linen threads. So, um, I think it's so cute. Um, I love the little skater people and I, I did that fire yesterday and that was so fun. Fire was so fun. Um, but I started up here and then worked my way over. Um, and now I'm doing the ginormous ice skating rink, as you can tell. So what's really funny, and you can, I think you can tell in the video, maybe not, but so the outside rim, like here, this is white, white, bright white. And then right in here is a very, very, very light gray. It's actually called orchid lights. I don't, orchid lights to me sounds like a light purple, but it's really not. It's like a light, super, super light gray. And then, of course, you have the darker gray that is the um, inside, which is supposed to be the tracks of them skating. So. And that's in the shape of a heart. Correct. As is, and as is the skating rink is in the shape of a heart as well. Let's see. Oh, the whole, the whole pond is. Yeah. Super cute. Yeah. yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Super cute. I, st I mean, I still love this so much, but. Yep. Um, and I really like touching my stitches. Mm -hmm. It's a fun time. Mm -hmm. So, so yeah. So I'll keep working on this until um, it's done, and then we'll pull out Santa's Village. I would, 
I, I would like to, ideally, I would like to have this done in the next week, but we'll see how that goes. So your plan is to do February or the second block of both of your big projects during this month. Yes. Okay. I, d I don't know if that's possible, especially because but you're gonna try. Feb especially because February is a short month. Short month, yeah. But yeah. I, I'm going to try, yeah. um, and I'm pretty confident that there will be some carryover um, into March. But it just it is what it is. Right. So right. that's that. Cool. All right. So what did you work on, Pam? Well, it's really exciting here yes. on my side of the on my side of the room, but <coughs> um, as I may have mentioned let's see this is the 14th mm -hmm. so yeah so um i'm dealing i'm i'm tackling my shouldn't be dealing with i'm tackling yes. my february whip go pieces mm -hmm. the first of which was my still life sampler tulips from tell an emblem which i finished mm -hmm. and i showed last week so that is a block on my whip go board that is grayed out yep. in my in my editing. Yes. And um, so that left for February my other uh, number pulled, which was Cardinal Points oh sampler, and um, that's by um, Long Dog Samplers and the General Art. Mm -hmm. And this is what it looks like if you don't know. Yeah. Okay. It's been out a few years. Um, when it was first released, I just fell in love with it. And then it got, you know, lower and lower in the whip pile. And uh, I thought I, I need the motivation of WhipGo to put it on mm -hmm. my board to yeah. allot the time. It's beautiful. Well, in addition to it being my February WhipGo project, mm -hmm. this weekend has been what Jessie Marie calls Whip Go Weekend. Yes, she does. And what that means is you look at your two projects for the month and you post what they are, what your starting points are. Maybe you have a progress pick. Mm -hmm. And then you set a weekend goal. Okay, so. Is there a Whip Go Weekend every month? Yes, there's okay. a Whip Go Weekend every month. Cool. And. Um, <coughs> so, because I had finished my tulips, I really on only have the Cardinal Point Sampler. Sure do. And so my weekend goals were to put in, and it starts at about, oh, 10 or 11 o'clock Thursday night and runs until midnight tonight for the full span gotcha. of the weekend. And so I thought, okay, what's a realistic goal? Now, this may seem like blowing your mind for some of you, I know, but I'm retired and I don't go anywhere. Correct. Add that up. Add that up. Yes. So my goal that I set for myself for WIPCO weekend was 24 hours. And this afternoon... Kim, did you meet your goal? I did meet my goal. Not what so. do you know? Not so. So... Um, if you recall where I was last week, you'll see that I've made quite a bit of progress. Significant progress, people. Significant progress. Loving it, loving it, loving it. Yeah, I can't. Oh my and gosh. And if you so follow cool. me or Stephanie on Instagram, you know, because I tagged her in my post. So yes, she did. You should see it, I think. Um, she went to the, um, laptop where we have a purchased copy of PC Stitch Software. Mm -hmm and charted the personalization for me, yes. which she did in a matter of minutes. No, She's, it took me an hour. It took you an hour? That is a matter of minutes. I mean, every time in itself is a matter of minutes, really. Right, right. But in about an hour, yeah. I left her alone. She did it. I kept stitching on different sections. Because I know then, that there are some people out there who can do a conversion just by, like, penciling or customization, oh, I should yeah. say, oh, yeah. like penciling over it. But for me to do it, I like, I need a completely blank slate. You're a spatial it... person like me. Oh, okay. That's what they call that. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. and then yeah. I have to like lay it all right. out. And, Visual. Spatial. You know, yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. So, anyway. Show them the people. Show them the. Show the people. <laughs> show the people the thing. So, um, you're going to see They're her dying personalization. To know. And um, here's where I am so far. It's so good. 
and I'll zero in on the personalization here in a minute. As you can see, Pam, it looks beautiful. It's really you. You get to a point in a project like this, and you see the light at the end of the tunnel, and mm. you get so excited, right? Yes. You get so excited. Stephanie even said, "Boy, Mom, by the time you get your framing back from Paula mm -hmm. up at Craft Gallery, we're you taking can, this. We could take this up mm -hmm. and get it framed. Yeah. Okay. So." Um, there's the personalization. Whoops. Can you pull that so it's a little bit tight? There we go. So there's the personalization all stitched in using Gentle Arts Pine. Mm -hmm. And I have run out of baby, baby spinach fish. for that inner border. It's been ordered and I... I'm pretty sure it'll come pretty quickly. Uh, Keepsakes was out of it, but we found an online source. It is a hard color to come by these days. Yeah, some of these overdyes are, you know, the supply chain is, the chain is broken. People. Yes, it's all backed up. <laughs> it's been broken for quite some time. Trains off the tracks a little bit with that general But arts. anyway, I'm thrilled with it now. My plan is to work on this until through the end of the day, till bedtime Wednesday. You're going to have it done by then, Pam. And I mean, come um, on. then I'm allowing myself another week Are you? to go back to my August cottage mm -hmm. for I'll be home. I'll be home. Cool. So Love that for you. Um, that's so that I keep on track with that Sal. Um, yes. But um, Pam, it's so pretty. It it sure is. It sure is fun. It's it sure is fun. Um. I've gotten so that I'm, you know, I'm I'm on automatic with the symbols. Oh, and the, that's cool. And the colors. You don't have to look at the chart, the reference a lot. No. Cool. Um, and once she got this charted for me, um, here we go. Uh, yeah, it did good. I just went right to that whole section and just yeah. stitched that in with no problem. problem. So it looks so good. Anyway. So that's um, that's it um, for my stitching, and yeah. will continue to be for um, the next few days. Yay! And, and then next week, hopefully, it'll be finished. Um, we can we can hope. We'll see. We'll see. Pam, if you got that much done in a weekend, well, yeah, um, I mean, yeah. <laughs> but again, I, you know, nobody, not everybody has my time. Right, I know, but I'm saying that you're gonna you're gonna have that same amount of time tomorrow, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So, it'll be done by next week. You think? I No, I know. Unless you just sleep all day. I don't sleep all day. I know that. So. So, you sit all day. Anyway. Anyway. So, those are our... Are you ready? Oh, no, it's too busy giving you grief. <laughs> <laughs> what else is new? Um... Do, 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 do. What do I do? Now I'm ready. Those are our whips of the week. Okay. Yeah, buddy. That's um, okay. Now we have something that we... A bit of nostalgia. We have some nostalgia. Some nostalgia. Um, speaking of nostalgia, um, of course, um, uh, I had to be corrected on um, Steph's um, age oh. and the year we went to New Orleans. Yes. We, we said 1995. And that I... was the trial. The, yes. The O.J. Simpson the car chase was in 1994. Yes. So our and, sincerest apologies to all so, the O.J. fans out there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah really. Yeah. Um, okay. So this is a little a cute little bit of nostalgia. You might have been around the same age when you stitched this. I might have been. We'll never know. Um, we don't know where this came from. This design came from, do we? I think it was out of like a um, one Leisure, of those books. Leisure arts book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something. If we and come it, across it, we'll let you know. But at this point. So this might very well be my first ever completed cross stitch. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like from sure. my childhood. Yeah. And where Not, did you find it? You found it in your closet. I found it in my closet? Yeah. And it was on a different frame. And it had stains on it. Oh, that's right. That's and right. so now that you've heard the whole story, so Pam was cleaning out her closet and she found that, found this thing and she was like, do you still want this? And I said, absolutely. What's this? What's this? What's this? What do you mean? 
<laughs> and uh, so there was some staining on it. And so I took it to Keepsakes and to Barbara. And I said, is there anything you can do for these? And she was like, hold my hold my coffee. Um, she does not drink coffee, but hold my water, whatever. Hold my Diet Coke. Um, and so she took it. And I was like, okay, fine, fine. I mean, it was already stained. You know what I mean? Like, it yeah. couldn't get much worse. Right, so, right, whatever. Right, right. So, I trusted to her. And then um, she took it out of the frame. And she ended up washing it. And there was still, like, a little bit of the stain you could see. And so, she coffee tea dyed it which made it look very 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 much better um and then she had a few um random thrift store frames in the basement at keepsakes and asked me if i wanted any of them and i said yes please mm -hmm. so then she reframed it and she added a hanger on the back for me and this is stitched on 14 count ada i can tell you that much um looks like well i don't know if that's i think it's that fiddler's ada you know well uh i think it might have been an off-white yeah, but then it was um, coffee. It wasn't dyed. Fiddler's Cloth. No. Because Fiddler's Cloth have those little wisps. Specs. Specs. Yes. It wasn't that, but it was not a white white. Okay. Well, either way. Yeah. And so this is a back from the framer. Yeah. Technically. Right. Or finisher, really. Right. And <laughs> welcome to our kingdom. Look at all of this back stitch, though. I know, and you could not have been more than, you were, were you in junior high? No way. Middle school? I was in elementary school, Pam. I think so. Elementary school. Elementary school, for sure. Look, there's a loose stitch down here. Isn't that funny? I told Barbara to leave it. Oh, you did? You know mm -hmm. about it? Yeah. Maybe some fray check on it would help. No, I like it. Is it, is it loose or is it? Look at it. We'll wait. <laughs> Oh, right there? Yes. Well, don't f mess with it. Okay. Leave it be. I like it there. Okay. I like it there because it's some character. And so you can't even tell that there's a stain on it, can you? Nope. No, um, not in the... But, in like, the... look at all of this made, though. I know. Elementary school, people. Elementary. Elementary school. She was school. meant to come back to cross. I was. She had to come home again. She was born again. to it. Look at it. Look at this toucan. Um, so I don't know where this came from. I think it was a leisure arts book. Yeah. Maybe some of you older stitches would, would know. Don't go any detective searching yeah, for no, it it's because really not it's deal. not worth all that. But, but yeah, so. Isn't that cute So cute, though. cute though. I love it. Yep. So, Yay. I don't know what drew you to that pattern, but. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I liked it. Maybe you liked it. Yeah, maybe that's just about it. All right. Okay. All right, now it's time to talk about promotional items. Yes, promos, as they say. We're going to have to find a sound effect for promotional. Mm, I have so many sound effects to keep track <laughs> of. Um, okay, yes. I think we could. I think we should. What, is, what exactly? Sound applause. effect? Applause. No. Cheering. No. What would be a good sound effect for promotional mm -hmm. items? Yes. Comment below, because I know you will. Thank you. I think we need something. I think. Okay, fine. An audience clapping. See what you think. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about. Let's add to Stephanie's workload. <coughs> yeah, I got lots of free time. So. <laughs> okay. So first and foremost, it is February. It is Valentine's Day. All the things, and uh, we got this week in the mail. We got our so much to the project bag of the month we did and i want to let everyone know before i show the bag uh that karen torres who is the owner of so much to love right. uh she when she messaged me my tracking number for the package she also wanted to let me know that there are some openings for the club jump in jump in so um i will leave the link to sign up in the description box below so Make sure um, you do that because it is an amazing, amazing club. Right. Um, and I don't know if there's like a waiting list once it gets full, but I'll put the link there and hopefully you can right. join in on the fun. Absolutely. Um, okay. So uh, every month, and in case you've never heard of the Bag of the Month Club, uh, it is an exclusive project bag that is just for the club members. It's not sold anywhere else. I mean, every once in a while, she has some extras that she um, will sell in her Etsy shop, but it's not that 
many. Um, and so not only do you get a custom made beautiful monthly bag, but you also get a bunch of goodies. Yeah. Um, and so Great. it's such a sweet, sweet package. And so shall I send a lovely letter explaining all the things and okay. So in this month's package, which is obviously Valentine's day themed, um, we were sent these, okay. Plastic floss drops by It's So Emma. Um, these are... They're plastic. Yeah, I really like them, actually. They look like bobbins. Yes. So you can <coughs> you can use them either way, which yeah. I think is really cool. Yeah. So those are going to come in handy. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got M&M's. Val <coughs> Valentine's. Um, Valentine's Day M and M's. Yeah. Um, and then we also this is so cute. Let me yeah, take it out. Yes. So this is from a maker on Etsy, and the maker is called Kogan's Creations. Sue Kogan, Kogan's Creations on Etsy, and she makes um, hand made crocheted items crocheted crocheted not knitted but crocheted twice in one episode yes crochet kogan's creations on etsy and i will link uh the etsy shop below so you can go check them out but in everyone's package was this super Isn't that beautiful super pretty um heart coaster yeah and it was sue kogan is her name and it's so soft and I'm going to put my Mountain Dew underneath it. There you go. Um, and so, and then also every month you get a bag of stash tea. Love the tea. And this, your voice just cracked. Love the tea. <laughs> and this month it is wild raspberry hibiscus. I'm not even going to respond to that. Good. And so now, the bag. Okay. Yeah. If, you're, if you've never watched our February episode a February episode from us ever before. I am the most single single out here, and I am single, okay? Very single. I love Valentine's Day. I just love love. Red's my favorite color. I just think it's so cute. I just love it. So I love Valentine's Day, and I love the, um, I don't do anything special for it, but um, I, I think it's also that I just like chocolate, so that helps. Yeah. But anyway, so I love the February back of the month. Anyway, this is now the third one I've gotten. So, um, so this is the very beautiful bag that we were sent from Karen Torres at So Much to Love. Ooh, so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love this. Mm -hmm. And that is what's on the back as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, and then you can see that this has like some words in it, like sweet, I love you more every day. Um, together at, what does that say? Together is our favorite place. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Find your tribe. It's so cute. And then this is a, um, felt, uh, zipper pull that she makes. And then look at this pretty, uh, it says little lovebirds yep. and XOXO. It's so pretty on the inside. Mm -hmm. I love it. It's very feminine. It's so cute. So, um, yes, she might have extras for sale on her Etsy shop, um, but this is a really fantastic club to be a part yeah, of. So, you know, if you, if you really are saying, wow, those are gorgeous, you know, get in touch with her to join up because, yes. um, there are openings right now. Yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, okay. And then, uh, so that is so much to love. And then, um, our other promotional item is Twin Peak Primitives, of course, which is our two favorite Netherlands girls uh, at Twin Peak Primitives. And so every week we have a pattern of the week, mm -hmm. which uh, is a chart that we love, that we think that you will love too. Right. Um, and then it is made to be 20% off 
for the following week for all of our viewers. Uh, and then there are some weeks where the twins actually reach out to us and say, hey, we have a new release or this chart that we had in mind. Um, are you okay promoting it this week? Right. And we always say yes. We're of never going to say no. Of course. Um, and so this week they actually chose the brand new release, brand new sampler. Yes, and we're going to uh, show you a picture in a minute. It yes. is called The First mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. So uh, there's a lot to this beautiful, beautiful piece. Yes. And so I think they are very wise to release this at this time of year so that possibly you can um, kit it up and stitch it yeah. all through the year until Absolutely. it's ready for the first Thanksgiving, which was in 1621. And so we're going to show you a picture of this beautiful pattern from Twin Peak Primitives here. here. Yay. Isn't that gorgeous? Yes. Beautiful, beautiful flags and... and a lovely table setting. An Indian princess and a... Pilgrim Woman. I love, love, love the uh, table setting along the bottom. Mm -hmm. And it's all really pretty. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Yes. So if you love the first Thanksgiving as much as we do, uh, and you would like to get your hands on it for 20% off, you can do so this week only. Um, and you can do so at three places. If you would like to have a PDF download of the chart, there are two places you can go. One, the Twin Peak Primitives Etsy shop or their website, both of, link, both of which are linked below. Um, you do not need a discount code or a coupon code or anything like that. It is already discounted for you, so you're good to go. That's where you go if you want a PDF of the chart. Right. If you would rather have a hard copy of the chart, the only place that you can get one discounted is Threads Entwined, which is an online need workshop in Northern California run by Trish. Uh, and she is fantastic and she will take great care of you. Um, and I will go ahead and link, um, threads entwined as well. Again, no coupon code needed, no discount code needed. It's right. automatically discounted for you. So you're good to go there. Right. So that is that about, um, the pattern of the week. And while you are out shopping for Twin Peak Primitives patterns, we also recommend that you pick up the, um, Springfield 1817 sampler. sampler. Yes. And the purchase of that chart will get your name added to the list to potentially win the third ticket that we happen to just have um, to go with us to Europe this fall. So the it's that's still the plan is for us to go to Italy and to the Netherlands in September of this year, and we would love for you to come with us, um, and all you have to do is buy that chart. Right. So, look for that while you're there. Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Checking the notes here. I see that it's time for mail call. Okay. 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 Well, the mail call for the day are some lovely lovely um, that's yours yeah uh valentine's cards yep we got valentine's from our great friend angie hello angie. who is bub my on youtube nope she's angie meyer on youtube she's bub my on oh, instagram oh sorry don't worry i got you girl she's gonna link it yes so we got the cutest little they're these so are from sweet punch studio the gift of love and cute little valentine's it's a pear tree what's that called uh well it's got a couple of lovebirds in it oh, and some is. hearts to my valentine to my valentine and they're kind of cute cute little size they are cute note inside mm -hmm. thanks Ange. and my misha i have she sent me two because <laughs> cats she said so this is the first one look at those cats in a bowl actually it's a teacup cats in a teacup and then why not, why not have just cats in a teacup when you can have cats driving a car? Right. Look at that cat with that hat on. I'm sure she went, I can't decide I'm going to send her both. Yep. <laughs> it even says Stephanie, number two, cause cats. Yeah. Love Angie. So 
funny. Right. Thank you, Angie. Angie Meyer on YouTube. Yes. Okay. So this next card came to keepsakes from Michael Rule. Michael! We have stitches on the Instagram. From West Hollywood, California. West Hollywood. That's Coming what, to you from. That's what WeHo stands for. And so he sent uh, this card to Keepsakes, and uh, care. it was technically sent to us, Care of Keepsakes. But right. So I brought it home and opened it with Pam. And look at those zebras. And can you tell Can you tell that there's little red stripes on this zebra? And then it says, you're one of a kind. And then Michael added both. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Too funny. So cute. Ooh, let me see his handwriting. Ooh, Michael, like your handwriting. Yes. Thank you, Michael. We love Thanks, you. Thanks, Michael. Yes. All right. Uh, and then we also got a lovely Valentine's card from our friend and yours, Susie Reno. Hi, Susie. Hi, Susie. You. Dream big. Wow. Laugh lots. Have fun. Be happy. Yep. Thank you, Susie. We love you. Mm-hmm. And then. And then. All the way from Portland, Maine. Cheryl Conley. Cheryl. Cheryl Conley, Portland, Maine. Whoops. I dropped the contents. Uh, I see that. Oh, I love this. This is real vintage. I love this vintage Valentine's yes. card. Yes. I mean, it's new, but it's, you know. And then look at mine. It's got a hot air balloon on it. She enclosed a very pretty skein of DMC variations. Me too, me too. And okay, nope. so that was just very thoughtful, Cheryl. Yes. Thank you Thank very Thank you much. so much. It made our whole day. Yep, it did. So that's all the mail call. Um, what? Nothing. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> I was like, I felt like you were going to say something there. Just wanted to check. Okay. 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 All right. So next is Hall. I'm getting an M&M. Okay. So. I have no Hall. No Hall. Nope. I don't think. No, you don't. Okay. All oh, this is mine. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. My haul's in the stash room. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, just, no, you don't have any weekly haul this week. No. Okay. So, uh, first things first are some charts I picked up at Keepsakes. Um, I showed the February and March installments of this series and then forgot to get January I don't know what happened. But anyway, so I finally got it. And this is from Puntini Puntini. And this is when I think of January. Isn't it cute? I just think he's fresh. Mm -hmm. And it comes with a little carrot button. So, love that so mm -hmm. much. Yep. I think... Um, you want to put those over here? Sure. Since I have lots of room. Yeah, since, since you have no hole. Um, I think that the April, May of those are going to come out at Expo. Oh, cool. So, and then these are two new releases from the Scarlet House, which I love. Um, and the first one is called No Place Like Home. Gee, I wonder why you gravitated towards that. And it says there's no place like home. I also love this tree. Yeah. Um, and this is actually stitched. The white and black. No kidding. No kidding. I didn't notice that when you brought it home. Yep. Um, and she said, oh, she said she's on 40 count ale. Huh. I think I might have some of that. There we go. There's no place like home. What did she stitch the red in? Uh, country redwood. Yep. Yeah, makes sense. So cute. It's got a cat on it too. Or a dog. A four-legged critter. It's a four-legged animal. That's all I got for you. Yep. Yeah. Um, and then this one is a new sampler from the Scarlet House, and it's called Little Deeds Sampler. And the words on it read, little deeds of kindness, little words of love, make our earth and Eden like the heaven above. Cool. And I really love the colors on this. Mm -hmm. um, it says 2019 on it, so I feel like this might have been like a club kit or something. I, I'm not 100% sure. Maybe someone knows. I, I don't know. Maybe you could look in the, the chart after when I'm done showing it. But, um, but yeah, it's so, so cute. I love the... So it's not brand new. But, but it was... Oh, it might have been prior to... So I think it was a club kit back in 2019, gotcha. and then now it's okay. out for general release in okay. 2021. Okay. That's my best guess on it, because... Cool. 
like, because that's why the year is on it, but it was brand new on Hoffman. So, and, oh, okay. and she had posted about it on Instagram as going to be newly released. So, okay. Um, and so next I got my uh, Friday night fight night fabrics from Be Stitch Me. Um, and if you are unfamiliar, did we totally forget about Friday night fight night on Friday no, night? No, she didn't have one. Oh, she didn't have one. No. Okay. Um, and so if you're totally unfamiliar, I haven't talked about Friday Night Fight Night in a while because she hasn't had one in a while. Um, but two weeks ago she had one and, um, it is a Facebook group for Be Stitch Me Fabrics. Brandy is the owner, dyer of Be Stitch Me Fabrics. Her fabrics are beautiful. We love them. Um, and every, well, it's typically about twice a month. Uh, she has a, what she calls a Friday Night Fight Night. And so it is 9 a.m. Uh, 9, 9 a.m. 9, 9 p.m. No, then I would not participate. Uh, 9. No, I'm just kidding. I would. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, I would. Pam, if I got up to watch apples float down a river at 8.30 a.m. on a Saturday or on a Sunday or whatever, then I'll get up for fabric at 9. When it's important to wear, she yeah, gets up. Exactly. But otherwise, no, no, no. Uh, okay. So there's a Facebook group. Like, First of all, let me say, you can go to the Be Stitch Me website and buy her fabric at any time. Yeah. Then on Friday nights... Doesn't she have a website, too? She does. Okay. Uh, but then on Friday nights, twice a month, usually, um, is Friday Night Fight Night. And it is at 9 o'clock p.m. Central Time. Central so, Time. So it's 10 o'clock our time. Uh, yes. Um, and so then she has albums of fabric. And it's organized by like Ada, even we've Lynn and all the things. Mm -hmm. um, and then you just go through and you have to be the first person to climb it. And it's like just, it's very, very exciting for about 10 minutes. And then it's over because all the and fabric is over. gone. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you got to be very quick with your thumbs. She's quick. I'm not. Correct. Um, and so this week, uh, two weeks ago, I claimed two pieces of 36 count fabric. Neither one of them have a name. Whoa. Nothing. I'll tell you later. Okay. Um, and, but they're both very similar, but I really, really loved this color enough to me please two pieces. So they're both um, fat quarters, 18 by 27. And they're, like I said, did I say 36 count? Yeah, 36 count. So this is the first one. She color codes her um, surging color to the count. Yeah, I think so. I thought you told me that. Yeah, no, you're right. Oh. So you can see there's a lot of the variation is on the edges, which is kind of her jam. Here, fold that, please. Mm -hmm. And then the second piece is very similar, but just a little bit more stronger variegation. Or variation, however you want to say it. So I love me some good neutrals, you know? Mm -hmm. I do. So beautiful fabric. I will link uh, the Facebook group for Friday Night Bite Night below. So... And her website, in case you want to go peruse. Right. Uh, and then, I got a package from my sweet friend, Liz. As in, hello from Liz Matthews. Um, so, as I'm sure that you all are aware, if you follow Liz Matthews, about her um, first day of Christmas sampler and tree that I am stitching. Uh, and then she has a series. She's come out with the first three days so far of the days of Christmas. Um, and all I'm doing the sampler versions of them all. Um, and if you're not sure what I'm talking about, I will link Liz's channel below and she has videos where she specifically talks about her days of Christmas. Um, and I'm stitching the first one now as a whip. I started it in October. I love it. It's amazing. Um, but I wanted all of them to be on the same fabric. Um, and I was lucky enough, uh, thanks to Liz, to get a piece big enough of the called for, which is 40 Count Fog by Pictures This Plus, for the first sampler. But I need 11 more pieces. <laughs> and so, because I do want to stitch all of them at some point in time. And I want to stitch them all separately. So... Uh, Liz had ordered for me a yard of fog from Pictures This Plus, and it finally came in. So, she sent it off to me. So I got that in the mail. So this is what, um, this is what fog looks like. So it's very, like, ecru, creamy, off-white situation. Um, 
her color palette for that is just great. Um, so if you are planning on doing the whole series and you want to do it all on the same color, regardless of if it's fog or not, um, if you do it on 40 count, you're going to need a whole yard. Um, I don't know about any higher counts other than that, other than that. Um, but I do know that if you want to stitch all of them on the same fabric and your system on 40 count, you need a whole yard. So thank you, Liz. I love you. So put that on my favorite, please. I think it had a bag, didn't it? Yeah, but I don't want it in the bag. Oh, okay. Okay. And then, um, my last little bit of fabric haul is, um, from Misty at Luminous Fiber Arts. And uh, we watched a video of hers not too long, not too, too, too long ago. Um, and she was talking about a linen that she dyes herself. And she was showing like project after project after project after project that she'd stitched on it. And she, and I was like, that linen is freaking beautiful. What is it? And then she finally told, told, us what it was and it is sparrow um and so i was like oh i want to get some so i went over to her website and it was all sold out in the counts that i like right so she had mentioned in that video that we watched that was when she switched from being on etsy to having a website and so she said that the best way to find out when fabrics were released was to sign up for her newsletter. So what did I do? I took my happy ass over and I signed up for her newsletter. Cause I was like, I am not going to miss out on Sparrow again. Smart. Thank you. Got it from you. So then, so I did that, did all the things. So I think it was like Tuesday or Wednesday night. I don't know, but I got I a new, I got you a You came running into the room and you went. I was like, ah, Sparrow. Sparrow. <laughs> So, and so I got myself, finally, a that half of 40 count Sparrow from Luminous Fiber Arts. And let me just tell you, I cannot wait to stitch on it. <laughs> it is a beautiful, beautiful piece of fabric. So this is dyed by Misty herself. The modeling is beautiful. The fabric is lovely. I just, I love it so much. Um, the possibilities are endless. Oh, 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 oh. Yep. So, it goes quick, people, okay? It goes quick. Like, hotcakes quick. Um, so, I've never seen hotcakes actually sell quickly. But anyway, um, and so, this is 40 Count Sparrow. So, that's my pro tip for you for the day is if you love the fabric that Misty shows, sign up for a newsletter so then you can be the first to know. Because I saw it in the newsletter and when I went, by the time I came in here in the living room and went onto the computer to go to her website to buy it, a lot of it was sold out, frankly. Wow. Wow. So, like, if I just wanted to, I mean, like, all the 36 count was all gone. So... She still had four. She does have 46 count, um, but a lot of it was gone. So, um, you gotta be on it. Quick like a bunny. Quick like a bunny. Yes, ma'am. So, I will link both of her, both her Frosty Banner website below. So, and it came so fast. So, thank you to Mindy. Misty. Uh, Misty. Miss, Miss, Mindy. Miss. Why did, I knew that something was wrong coming out of my mouth. We do know Mindy, but this we is do. Miss Not, yeah. So, okay. Now, the next, my last two things for haul are all of your fault. Because you people tag me in things. And then I have to buy them because they're cute. So this, pro the last two are project bags. Surprise, surprise. Um, so this is from Vintage Owl Lady on Etsy. Vintage Owl Lady. I will link her below. Um, and her name is, uh, with Susan and Amelia Owens. Hmm. Um, and she, they, they, I guess technically, um, make project bags. And they had actually mentioned, um, 
Fiona in their description of this bag. And I have a few hippo bags and I was like, Stephanie, just don't, don't purchase it right away. So I gave it a day. <laughs> a whole day. A little self-restraint. Never hurt anybody. And then uh, I went back to our Etsy and there was only one left. So I had to buy it at that point. So, um, And so this mm -hmm. is the bag. Look at the hippo butts. <laughs> They're so cute. Uh, and then I love the little mushroom fabric and the little rickrack. And then look at her scissor. Or the scissor. Zipper pull. With the mushroom. So cute. And then look at all the hippos. <laughs> So cute. And then the inside fabric is butterflies. Very pretty. Which is so pretty. I love this very, very much. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Amelia. It's thank you to everyone lovely. who tagged her, too. And thank you to everyone who spent my money. <laughs> <laughs> it's very kind of you. Yeah. Thank you. Ooh, I love it. Do you? Yeah. It's mine. So cute. <laughs> no, I mean, I love it for you. I know. Okay. So that's technically for you. Oh, okay. So this lovely bag came from Anna at Stitch Toolbox. Oh, yeah. So uh, she um, posted this bag um, on Instagram, I think it was. And I was like, oh, man, I need that bad. I need that bad. So... Uh, but in the package, she also sent some extra goodies, which I'll show first. So she sent um, this super cute little needle minder. Look at the kitty. It's so cute. Uh, and then a bag of tea, and mine is Earl Grey. Love that. And then what did she send for you, Pam? She sent a lovely um, scissor fob. Yeah. And it is... Oh, cute. Really, really pretty. Or a zipper pull. You could use them for either or. Yeah, but look how pretty that is. Oh, my gosh, that's gorgeous. All those different stone I didn't even see that. beads on that. That's really pretty. And Dang. she enclosed a needle minder, a wooden needle minder. Very yeah. nice. Land of the Free. Love that. Love it. I also got some. No, the Earl Grey's mine. Oh, the Earl Grey Shores. And okay. your, uh, the tea that she sent for you, though, oh, is with stash. Peppermint. herbal. Peppermint. I just had some of that. That's I really like that one. Well, good for you. Yeah. Um, and then you all might recognize uh, Anna. She's on Instagram as Colado0066. Yeah. That's her on uh, Instagram. Right. And the bag that I got mm -hmm. is a Vinyl Front Project bag. Looks like that. Mm-hmm. Look at this frickin' fabric. Look at all these cats causing all of this trouble. Okay, let's talk about all the things they're doing. <laughs> and they're wearing costume. Look at that cat in the chicken costume in a box. Look at it. Ooh, ooh. Look at this guy over here. On top of the TV. Is that, is that an elephant cat in an elephant costume? Look at him on the laptop. He's sitting like a human. I love when they sit like that. This is so cute. It's so <laughs> cute. I love it very, very, very much. And it's incredibly well made. So thank you to Anna. And then I realized when I was looking at, um, I almost just had one of those moments where I hit you in that glass. I know. Again. I'm learning. <sighs> okay, Pam. Um, that this, I have another project bag in the same line of fabric. Not this exact fabric, obviously, but it has these same cats. So I'm collecting them all from the same collection. Right, right. So thank you so much to Anna. That is very, very, very nice. Okay. And hold on. I got to get my sound effect. Hold on. Okay, so usually I talk about my haul and then Pam talks about her haul. And, and she then has time to set up the sound effect I do. while I'm showing my haul. But, but since I have no haul... We're ready now. This is our haul for the week. Add, Add to, to cart. cart. Oh my gosh, that's my favorite thing we do. <laughs> okay. Until right. we come up with another thing. Yes. So our plans for this week are... Right. To stitch. Mm -hmm. um, and 
I might have a snow day tomorrow. I don't know. Right. Might. Might. We're just we'll watching see. it. Yes. You will have to move your car so it's facing out before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just yeah. in case. Just in case. Um, but other than that, um, I would hopefully, for me, I hope, hoping that I can get my February block on Hawkorn Hollow done. Absolutely. And start my um, Sam's Village second block. Right. That's my goal. Um, my plans include, um, you know, working for another three days. Yep. On um, finishing Cardinal Point, you mean? <laughs> Cardinal Point Sampler. And then um, getting back to um, August Cottage at I'll Be Home. And um, really nothing much happening. Um, nope. There's a chance I make a call on, not this week though, that's next week. Okay. It's looking like I might have jury duty. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited. Never been on jury duty ever before. Me neither. And I'm, and I'm living vicariously through Because care. of the fact that I was a court librarian, in the past, it's disqualified me. Not now! <laughs> Not sure. Not sure how I feel about it, but um, okay, it will be in March if it happens question are you allowed to cross stitch if you're on jury duty well the the paperwork i've received so far said you know uh leave as many personal items as you can in your car um so i'm not sure you're also really not a traveling stitcher really i'm really not i really yeah, like everything true. laid out in front yeah. of me i'm okay. not really a you know, you car stitchers and waiting room stitchers, good for you. I, I can't really... Okay, fine. Bring yeah. a book. So I'll bring a book, probably. Um, but that's not for another few days. Um, I won't know anything in the next week because mm -hmm. I think I have to make a phone call toward the end of the month. Mm -hmm. uh, which is coming up quickly, people. Um, we're <laughs> almost out of February. Mm -hmm. Um so, hope you've had a great Valentine's Day if you celebrate, um, and um, yeah, all that stuff. We uh, love you. We, we hope you love us, too. Yeah, yeah, we really do. Appreciate you coming by mm -hmm. uh, and checking us out. Hope you uh, continue to do that, and um, we, have, we have the best commenters on FlossTube. That's yep. all there is to it. No question about Period. it. Period. Um, so have a great week. Get yes, some please. stitching in. Uh, settle down with a cup of tea, hot cocoa, Mountain Dew, and um, uh, enjoy it. Uh, find solace in it, and yeah. um, we things. will see you in about a week. We will. Uh, in the meantime, I'm Pam, and I'm Stephanie, and this is just, just keep, keep stitching. stitching. Bye. Bye.